You die sample questions, paper A, question number 36. I'd like to say that uh, especially this question is difficult and requires a deep knowledge to answer and to be sincere with you to answer every of these options. Of course, uh, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics should be known. Let's get a read of this uh, question concerning pharmacokinetics. And you see options like only non-ionized drugs will readily distribute into the lipid phase of membranes. Second one is propofol has a high clearance. Third is for a given clearance, the elimination half-life of a drug is directly proportional to the volume of distribution. Fourth is drugs with low extraction ratio are affected by hepatic blood flow. And the last one is uh, clearance of lidocaine approaches hepatic blood flow. Only option four is uh, wrong and we will discuss why. So we are going to uh, make analysis of every of the option. Only non-ionized drugs will readily distribute into the lipid phase of membranes and as you know, membranes have uh, a lipidic uh, dual or two levels of uh, lipidic uh, wall. And this wall do not allow to pass uh, ionized drugs, which are uh, lipohydrophilic uh, instead of uh, lipophilic. And it results that non-ionized or uh, lipophilic drugs or substances can uh, distribute or diffuse through the lipid membranes. Second one, propofol has a high clearance. Um, to be sincere with you, every of this uh, explanation text that is uh, taken from internet is from NCBI or proven sources and you can check it by yourself. Uh, liver is very efficient at propofol metabolism with a blood extraction ratio of 90%. It means that liver taking part of most of uh, propofol uh, metabolism. And the mean clearance of propofol is around 2.2 liters per minute, which is higher than the total liver blood flow. In times, the total hepatic blood flow ranges from uh, 800 to 1,200 200 milliliter per minute, which is equivalent to approximately 100 milliliter per minute per 100 gram of liver weight, wet weight. And as you see, uh, clearance exceeds the uh, possibilities or the blood flow to the liver. And it means that uh, clearance of propofol is high. 90% is metabolized by liver and uh, clearance is very high, like 2.2 in times that normal hepatic blood flow is maximum of 1,200. What means drug clearance? It is defined as a volume of plasma cleared of a drug over a specific or a specified period a period of time or time period. Thus, the unit of measurement for drug clearance is volume per time. Clearance is equal to the rate at which a drug is removed from plasma divide, divided by the concentration of the drug in the plasma. So, amount of drug removed from, from plasma divided by the amount or concentration of the drug in the plasma. And the total ability of body to clear a drug from the plasma is renal clearance plus hepatic clearance plus clearance from all other tissues that can participate. It is important to be aware of the fact that clearance does not tell us the amount of drug cleared. For example, a drug X and renal clearance is 20 ml per minute and hepatic clearance is 5 ml per minute. And total clearance will be would be like 25 milliliter uh, per minute. A third answer, like for a given clearance, elimination 
uh, half-life of a drug is directly proportional to the volume of distribution. So elimination half-life is the length of time required for the concentration of a particular substance to decrease to half uh, of its starting dose in the body. So most clinical relevant drugs and most of the drugs tend to follow a first order pharmacokinetics. What does it mean? It means that uh, their drug elimination rates are proportional to plasma concentration. Plasma concentration is high and uh, drug elimination rate is also high. In contrast, a few drugs only uh, follow zero order uh, kinetic elimination in which uh, the amount of drug decreases by a constant amount over time regardless of initial concentration. So the fundamental differences between zero and first order kinetics is their elimination rate compared to total plasma concentration. A zero order kinetics undergo constant elimination regarding of plasma concentration. It is high or it is low Zero order means that uh, elimination is uh, constant, it at, uh, occurs at constant rate. In times that first order kinetics occurs proportionally, uh, proportionally increases elimination as the plasma concentration increases and decreases in times that uh, plasma concentration of the drug decreases. As for number four, drugs with a low extraction ratio are affected by hepatic blood flow. That is wrong as hepatic clearance of many drugs is blood flow dependent, especially compounds with high hepatic uh, extraction. And they are dependent or directly dependent on hepatic blood flow. In times that fewer compounds are delivered uh, to the liver, fewer compounds are removed from the circulation. In contrast, general compounds with lower extraction ratio tend to be a blood flow independent. If only a small amount of drug or substance is, is going through the hepatic extraction and clearance, it does not affect too much that uh, blood flow is high, low, or a medium. Clearance of lidocaine approaches hepatic blood flow. So lidocaine is almost completely metabolized by the alkylation in the liver by uh, CYP34A or uh, cytochrome oxidases. Uh, it is pharmacologically active and has a, sh a half life of longer duration than that of lidocaine, but is not as effective in blocking the sodium channels. I mean, uh, metabolite, which is a monoacyl glycine exilidia or some, something like that. So, lidocaine is about 95% metabolized in liver, mainly by cytochrome oxidase uh, CYP3A4 to the pharmacologically active metabolites and then subsequently to the inactive glycine xylidine. So clearance of lidocaine approaches hepatic blood flow, high hepatic blood flow, high clearance of lidocaine because 95% uh, percent of this uh, substance or drug is metabolized by the liver. Thank you for your attention. We are going to the next question soon.